Hello and welcome back to Excelsior. In today's video, we are diving deep into some advanced pivot table tricks that will take your data analysis skills to the next level. We have about a hundred tricks to share with you. So this video will be a part of an ongoing series. If you're ready to make the most out of your pivot tables, then you are in the right place. If you don't know about pivot tables, you should totally check out our video on the pivot tables. I'll leave the link on the top right here and in the description for you. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss any of our valuable tips and videos. Just to give you an idea of what we are working with, here we have month-wise sales data of a store with branches in multiple cities of the world and it is further divided into online mode and offline mode of sales. We are going to use this data in this series of ours. Alright, we have a lot of ground to cover, so let's get started right away. One of the most powerful features of pivot tables is the ability to connect to external data sources. Instead of manually copying and pasting your data, you can use an external connection to keep your pivot table updated automatically. What it means is, say you have a file that is being worked on with multiple individuals and you don't wish to make any changes to it. You can simply connect to it for the purposes of making a pivot table. Let me create a new file. Now let's go to this drop down on pivot table in the insert tab and choose from external data source and it brings this dialog box. Click on choose connection which brings this dialog box if you have the data file opened and your data is as a table like I have here you can directly go to this tab tables and you'll find the link there. Otherwise, you can go to browse for more and find your file on your system. Once you have the file, click on it and it'll bring all the sheets in it and you have to choose the one you want. In our case, it's this one. And we are done. Click on OK here and you have your pivot table ready to go. Drag the fields as you wish and whenever you need new data which is updated in the main sheet by your colleagues, Simply click on refresh and you are done. Time and again, you will find yourself with your pivot table looking like this. If you wish to have the item labels repeated so it has a more consistent look, go to the design tab here and click on report layout. Then choose repeat all item labels and now you have all these labels mentioned and the blanks are gone. All right. Let's jazz up our pivot table with trick number 3. Go to the design tab on top while being in the pivot table and click on this drop down here under pivot table styles. Here you will find multiple styles to choose from. You can go for light colors or medium or maybe the dark ones. This one is all about keeping your pivot table clean and clutter free. You may find sometimes you have deleted some data and added new data to your data set but you still have the old data in your pivot table even after you refresh. It happens because Excel keeps some cache and if it's not cleared automatically you'll find yourself in this situation. It's rare but it does happen and when it does it's quite confusing. If you do come across such a situation go to pivot table analyze tab up here and click on options in the first group pivot table and then go to the data tab and come to this option and change it to none. Now there is no cache stored and you are good to go. Moving on to trick number 5, a fantastic way to compare data points directly within your pivot table. Here we have the list of all the countries and we wish to let's say compare how other countries have performed against one country in particular, in our case Argentina. So we right click here, now go to show values as, here you have many options to choose from and I am going to cover all of them, but today we are going to choose difference from and you will see this dialog box, here base field is the country and base item is the country which you want to compare against, in our case it's Argentina, so we leave it at that or you can go inside this drop down to choose any other country you want. Press OK and now you have all the country's sales value compared to those with Argentina. 
Did you make a mistake and now you can't make heads or tails of it? Need to start fresh? No issues. Just go to the pivot table analyze tab, go in actions here and choose clear and then clear all. That'll show you how to wipe the slate clean in no time. Now, let's make your data stand out with this trick. You know, you can use conditional formatting in pivot tables as well. Let me show you how. Let's see which countries have had more than 100,000 in sales. So we select our values, go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, greater than, and type here 100,000. This light red filled with dark red text is the default option, but you can choose more from here. Didn't I said I'll cover all the options under show values as? Alright, let's dive into show values as percentage of difference to express your data in a whole new light. Let's choose Argentina again, just like our last example and right click here to show values as and this time choose percent difference from. And just like the last time, our base field is country and base item is Argentina. Hit OK and you will see all other countries' sales figures compared with Argentina in percentage. What happens when just the sum doesn't cut it? What if we need to find average, minimum, maximum and more? Go to this field here in values and click here. Now go to value field settings. Here you can have your values as count, average, maximum, minimum and more. And finally, we've got trick number 10 to supercharge your pivot table insights, which is an extension of our trick number 9. What if we need to know the sum, but also average, minimum, maximum, etc. in the same pivot table? Well, we can simply drag the field again, like this, and Excel will give it a sequential number at the end. And in this field, we can now choose to show, let's say, average by going into the value field settings and choosing average from here. Hit OK and you are done. Similarly, you can add another column showing minimum, maximum and more. And there you have it. 10 incredible pivot table tricks that are sure to make you a data analysis superstar. Remember, practice makes perfect. So don't be afraid to experiment with these tricks and find the combinations that work best for your data. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your fellow data enthusiasts. Also, let us know in the comments which trick was your favorite or if you have any other pivot table hacks you'd like to share. Thanks for watching Excelsive and keep watching this space as we have about 90 more tricks to share with you. Next time, happy spreadsheeting.